Good evening. The fate of a former APD officer accused of using excessive force is now in the hands of an Albuquerque jury. Connor Rice is shown on lapel camera video allegedly crossing the line with two suspects last year. He took the stand today in his own defense. Now it's up to the jurors. News 13's Gabrielle Burkhart was inside the courtroom. She's live downtown. Jessica, the jury got the case about an hour ago. This after hearing from Connor Rice himself, claiming what he did was what he was trained to do. Immediately when I got on him, uh, he had his hands up here by his chest, like in kind of a, like a low push-up position. And I immediately felt him start to buck and move um, like he was trying to get up. Rice described the suspect as resisting when, says, when he says he used, quote, distraction techniques. The incident was captured on lapel camera video showing Rice repeatedly striking a suspect in 2012 after a long pursuit. But he didn't document his distraction techniques in his report, which is against APD policy. He told the jury not mentioning the distraction technique was oversight on his part. Rice is also facing charges for tasing another suspect after bursting into a suspected drug dealer's apartment without a warrant. Closing arguments from both sides began late this afternoon. The defense claimed the suspects who testified during the trial were not credible witnesses. They came in here minimizing their own conduct. They lied on the day of the incident and they came in here and they lied to you. Talking to the sergeant. Homeboy we tased the shit out of. Ladies and gentlemen, to the state, that sounds like bragging. Rice is facing battery and aggravated battery charges. The jury deliberated for about 45 minutes before they were sent home for the evening. They're expected to continue deliberations in the morning. Back to you. Okay, Gabrielle, Rice was fired from APD because of the charges. He had been on the force for six years.